now let us discuss about programmable logic array in short we can call it as pla let's see the first point pla is a type of programmable logic device that is pld used to implement boolean functions here we have a concept called programmable logic device uh, by using which we can do some programming we can do some programming on the devices like we can do addition operation subtraction operation swapping operation we can do any logic uh, here there are two types of programmable logic devices the first one is programmable logic array that is pla and the second one is programmable array logic that is pal in this video we are going to discuss about the first pld component that is programmable logic array pla so now let's see what is pla so with the help of pla or pal we can implement any boolean function pla has programmable and gate array followed by or gate array so here we have programmable and gate array so and gate array means we will have a collection of and gates programmable so that means we can perform some operations on the and gates followed by programmable or gate array followed by programmable or gate array so that means we will have a collection of or gates and we can do some programming on the or gates also so let's see an example here two boolean functions are given the first function is sigma m of 3 comma 5 comma 7 so that means these are min terms and f2 equal to sigma m of 4 comma 5 comma 7 so the, these are also min terms so in the examination they may give some uh, truth table or directly they will give the boolean expressions or they will give some boolean functions like this okay implement the boolean functions using pla so that is our target here we have to implement these boolean functions with the help of the pla diagram so first here here we have two boolean functions are given so first we have to identify first we have to obtain the boolean expression for these two functions here the maximum term is 7 so 7 means three variable cornoff map is enough so let us assume that input variables are a b c so this is for f1 uh, first expression first boolean function and this cornoff map is for f2 second boolean function so three variable cornoff map so this corner represents a this corner represents b c so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 if we observe the first boolean function 3 5 7 so this is 3 5 7 so we have to put one in these three cells so we can combine these two cells as a group we can combine these two cells as a group so f1 equal to if you observe here so this is a if you observe these two one is common so one means second one is common that is c so a c plus if you observe this group the uh, a value is changing from 0 to 1 so there is no need to consider that whereas 1 1 so that is nothing but bc so here the first boolean expression is what a c plus b c uh, if we see the second one so 4 5 7 so we have to put one in 4 5 7 cells so we can combine these two cells as a group we can combine these two cells as a group so here a is common if we observe the first one so first zero is common so a b bar plus a is common second one is common so a c so if we if we observe these two uh, uh, these two functions so first two boolean function contains a c and b c second boolean function contains a b bar plus a c so here a c is appearing twice so we can eliminate one a c we have to consider only one a c now okay and after that we have to draw the pla programming table or program table our product table so this is very very important product table so they may give question on product table also so here this product table pla program table or product table mainly contains three columns the first column is product term the second column is inputs here the inputs are 
A, B, C are the inputs and outputs. What are the outputs? F1 and F2 are the outputs. If you see here, here A, C is appearing twice. So, we have to write A, C only once. So, A, C and what is the second product term? B, C and third product term A, B bar. So, here what are the inputs? A, B, C. This is nothing but uh, sum of product form. So, we know about sum of product form. So, in sum of product form, 1 means A. A means 1. Whereas, A bar means 0. If you see here, A, C. So, this term contains A as well as C. So, in A position, we have to write 1. Next, B. B is missing. So, C is 1. So, likewise, if you observe B, C. A is missing. So, B value is 1. C value is 1. If you observe the product term A, B bar. A value is 1. Whereas, what is B bar? This is sum of product. So, bar means 0. So, B bar means 0. So, whereas that C is missing. So, we have to write hyphen here. Next, outputs F1 and F2. So, here what is F1? The expression for F1 is AC plus BC. So, here AC is appearing. So, we have to write 1 here. So, BC is also appearing. We have to write 1 here. AB bar is not appearing in F1. So, we have to put hyphen. Next, if we observe F2 here, AB bar plus AC. AB bar plus AC. So, first one as well as third product term are appearing whereas the second one is missing. So, we have to put dash here and the last one is the important one that is we have to draw the circuit diagram. So, for drawing the circuit diagram, so this line represents A, next complement of A, this line represents A bar, this line represents B, next B bar, this line represents C, next to C bar. Next, how many product terms are there here? Here we have three product terms. So, we need to perform under operation. So, that is why we have taken three and gates. So, directly we have to draw a line like this. Okay. So, directly we have to draw a line like this. So, for the second and gate also this is the line. For the third and gate also this is the line. If you observe AC, AC means AC. So, we have to write a cross mark here. We need to perform product operation on A and C. So, we have to put a cross mark on A, the, that intersection point as well as C also. Next, what is the second AND gate? BC. So, we have to put a cross mark on this B as well as C. Next, the third AND gate AB bar. So, we have to put a cross mark on this A portion as well as B bar portion. So, this is nothing but AND gate output. And next, we have to draw a line like this. We have to pass, we have to draw a line like this. So, draw a line, draw a line, draw a line. And then we have to draw a vertical line like this. Draw a vertical line like this. So, this is nothing but R operation. What is F1? F1 means AC plus BC. So, we have to perform the R operation on AC and BC. So, that is why we need R gate, R gate. Okay. If we observe F1 here, so first two, first two term is appearing as well as second term is appearing. So, we have to put cross mark at the first two term that is AC and the second term BC. So, it will give AC plus BC. If we observe the F2 here, first two term is, first two product term is appearing as well as third one is appearing, whereas second one is missing. So, we have to put cross mark at the first as well as third. So, this is nothing but the circuit diagram. So, this is about PLA or programmable logic.